Welcome to the walkthrough of frequently made mistakes for assignment four in my CS5253 course in the fall of 2023. First, make sure to comment your code thoroughly. Some people still aren't commenting their code. That code has not been reviewed. Next, make sure that you initialize the M0 field properly in the Completable Futures Crawler class. This implementation is incorrect. Please watch this video to see how to do it correctly. This code is incorrect. Definitely do not be initializing this to null. Again, watch this video to see how to do this correctly. It's really straightforward and make sure that you do that right. Down here, minor point, but please make sure that you don't create a local variable here and said chain the join call at the end of the crawl page async call. This code is also correct. Don't be returning null in situations where the rep method is returning a completable future to integer. That would only cause you problems. You don't want to be returning null. You want to return zero. Down here, make sure you use the M0 field rather than doing completable future dot completed future of zero. That's why the M0 field is here to abstract away and avoid having to repeat yourself by using these method calls in place. This method is missing something important here with respect to the depth field. Make sure that you fix that. Take a look at some of the other implementations, such as the sequential loops crawler implementation to see what you should be doing here. Down here, make sure that you make a call to then apply async first and then call, then compose async. And this code here is too complicated, needs to be refactored quite a bit in order to work properly. There should be two completion stage methods here, not one. Down here, please replace all of this stuff with a single call to a helper method that's defined in the image crawler.java file that gets a stream of all the image source URLs in the document. This should be a, a method reference, by the way, not a Lambda expression. Likewise, this should also be a method reference rather than a Lambda expression. We, we go over this every time there's a frequently made mistakes video, make sure that you're looking carefully for opportunities to replace Lambda, ref, uh, Lambda expressions with method references. This is something that the Android Studio IDE will do for you automatically if you just take a look at your code. This code down here is also way too complicated. So please replace this with a call to a helper method defined below that performs all of these steps. Let's take a look now at combined results. Please replace this Lambda expression. I should probably put this comment here. Please replace this Lambda expression with a more concise method reference. Down here, please use the fluent interface pattern to chain all the calls below into a single stream rather than using a local variable. Down here in process images async. This is way too complicated. You just want to call flat map and pass a method reference to a helper method that's defined below to do all this stuff. Again, the key point is to always make sure that you refactor the code or use the methods I've already refactored for you when making the calls. There's no need to call filter here since this is a completable future that's returned, not an object. So there's no point in calling filter, it won't do anything. It'll always be non-null. Please use a method reference here rather than a Lambda expression. Again, get in that habit. Please use again a method reference here instead of a Lambda expression. You really should be able to do this by now. And then finally, this implementation is too complicated. Just return count. You don't have to do all this other stuff and definitely don't be returning minus 99. Goodness gracious, that will give you very strange results. I'm not even sure what the point of that was, and it wasn't really explained in the code, and it's, it's just plain wrong. So this should either return zero or one, and count will do that for you. So that's the walkthrough of frequently made mistakes for assignment four. Please make sure you address these and get them submitted by the final assignment deadline.